All right. I guess I'm on, on and ready. <laughs> Good evening, and welcome to the best place you can park it on a Wednesday night. Welcome, welcome to the Attitude Ship. I'm Donna M. Butler. Guess where I am? I am sitting outside. So if you see me make a mad dash and knock somebody down, you hear glass breaking, it's simply because what? There's a bug on me in my vicinity or anywhere around me. But guess what? It's all good because it's all about the shift. And I couldn't do the shift without my wing woman, the woman that looks like Princess Leia with the little things on tonight, headgear, Siobhan Shaw. How are you, darling? Oh, I am, I'm pretty good. I'm, and did you know that Star Wars is actually coming out again? <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do. I have a feeling it might be because uh, of these. You know, I... <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> or our trailer where I talk about Princess Leia and headgear. I, I'm amazed more women don't wear these things around, just, you know, <laughs> on the street, going for coffee, going to do yoga. It's quite comfortable. Well, that's nice. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Headgear. We'll have to remember that one, Siobhan. Uh, every, every Wednesday, I just am amazed how you just spice them up. <laughs> every Wednesday. <laughs> And who is that talking? <laughs> oh, she has a new look tonight. How about that? Hello. It's me again. I know I look different every Wednesday. Just bear with me. That's Aria Hello, Butler, who is in the co-pilot co co seat with us, I guess you would want to say that, co-driver's seat. And tonight we have a very special guest, a, a friend of a friend of mine, <laughs> and we can tell you that story. <laughs> has got his no, new TV show. It's called Standardized. It is hilarious. You guys have got to go check it out. And his name is Lipe Viana, and he is on the show with us. Lipe, welcome hi. to Yay, TV. hi. I can actually just be quiet here and listen to you ladies talk. This is so entertaining. I'm like, I'm, like, I'm not going to be as close as funny as this. Oh, I'm sure you will. I, I watch. I watch standardized. So, oh my God! Know, so. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I want to say this real quick. I want to. I want to start off by saying this. I um. I loved it. But oh, you made you. you you made this you made this Mormon girl blush. <laughs> <laughs> ah, thank you so much. That's fun. That's such a good compliment. Thank you so much. That was fun. It was it was definitely <laughs> worth me watching it. <laughs> now oh, her oh. now her bishop will be calling you. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure they'll go look and see standardized and they'll be like, oh, okay, God. I'll, I'll watch, be in the office. <laughs> oh, did you watch both episodes or? I or, did. Or I watched. You did, you did your homework, didn't you? Donna? I did. All right, I, I good. Was I watched it. You're good. So I was hooked. Thank That's you. Why That's you good. That's why you had that statue behind your head, huh? I know, I don't know. It's actually, it wasn't supposed to be there. I was cleaning the place up for this, and I ended up that dropped in there. It just stayed in there, right, Mr. Oscar? Yeah. It, <laughs> no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. It, it's very funny. It looks so small on TV. I know, I know it does. Right? It looks My, small. No, it's mine. Mine is smaller than the ones on the real ones are bigger, but mine are small. I'm talking about the Oscar, right? So do, do you want the, I'm not talking about anything else but the Oscar. But let's talk about the Oscar, the Oscar story, please. Um, I, I'm from Ipanema. I'm originally from Rio. And I remember back in the day when I was starting to be an actor, and I passed by a street vendor, and I saw all of those bronze statues and things and elephants, and there was the Oscar. And um, at that moment, I had decided that I had to buy that Oscar because in my life, if no one would ever, ever give me an Oscar, at that moment, I was giving that Oscar to myself. And since then, I've been car carrying it around my suitcase and with my stuff. <laughs> I always have it. And I'm like, I'm proud of it. I pay for it. Okay, it's smaller than the normal size, but who cares? I have an Oscar. You don't. <laughs> And I love you have one, and and I don't, and you're right, and I love yeah. that, and I, and I love your attitude. 
And I really, really love your attitude. So where does all that energy come from, Lipe? I mean, that's a lot of energy. I, I, I did my homework. I did. I got my shit together, and I, and I don't mean I get. I got my shit together by by making a pile of shit and putting in the closet. No. I took my shit and I smelled it and I touched it and I made peace with it and I washed it away and I smelled it and I was like, you know what, that's what it is so let's deal with it and let it go and that's how standardized came about because I, 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 dealt, I dealt with my shit and don't get me wrong, I still have a lot to deal with. <laughs> but, but um, that's that's what it is. That's the secret, which is not the secret. It's just doing the homework to 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 get that antenna connection with the universe. So <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Should I should I should I just get quiet? Because should, should we call um okay. first aid or keep something? Going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. going. That's uh, hilarious. Uh, oh my god. Okay. Um. So what? Okay. Standardized. So you got yes. your. <laughs> Just in case you oh did that God. real one, but what? How did you get to standardize the TV series from Ipaniwa? Ipa, oh. we, what? Oh, <laughs> I don't what? even know where you, what you said. Ipaniwa? Ipa? You were from, from Ipanema. Ipanema is a neighborhood in Rio. That's where I was. Um, that's where I'm. I'm from originally. That's where I lived for so long. And. Um, Actually, before I talk about standardized, I gotta put it out there. I don't think you know that, Siobhan, but that's a good story. Out of so many, I'm gonna tell you because I can't shut up because I, 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 you know, I dealt with my shit, so that's why I have energy. But um, when I had moved to Kelowna from India, um, and I. I was in Kelowna, I was living as a social worker, I had taken a break from acting and I moved to Vancouver and I decided to get back to acting and I so love the play and plotting of the universe of how things happen that I talked to a friend of mine and I want some help to get back to, to the industry and the contact that she gave me was yours. We talked in 2007 and you actually referred me to my very first agent in Vancouver. And um, and here we are, how many years later, and I'm, I am based in Toronto with the TV show, way more shit together than before. And and we got to encounter each other and again, and, and I don't, and I'm, I'm not sure if you know that. I don't think she knew that. You didn't I, know that. No, you. You know, Andrea is a very, very good friend of mine. She wow. lived. She lived just down the street from me for a very, like two years or something. We had an excellent friendship, and we got to see each other all the time, and we drink yeah. red wine together, and and you know, she knew my family, and and I knew hers, and I, I was there when her first son was born, and. I just and she moved back to Brazil. Yeah. Um, and I miss her dearly, and that's how you knew her. And I knew she, her and I knew Simone. She suggest, yeah, and she suggested you call me. Now I yeah, have to say yeah. I completely don't yeah. like it's, and it's, it's amazing like gone from my memory. I don't. I talk to so many people when and they cares ask at me. The end of the day, right? <laughs> and right. who cares? It just, um, it, it's so funny, I just wanted to touch on that before I would talk That's about awesome. the show that I, I so appreciate and I'm always so in awe of how things happen all the time and how things interlace and come back and it's just, it's just they play, that's how I can say it's a play of universe and I'm just laughing at it, right? Can't take it too seriously. So. Um, you want me to talk about standardized? I yes. was at that oh, all. Yeah. Yeah, yes. So you just tell me to shut up and I'll shut up. I'll deal with it. I can't deal with it. <laughs> I, I I came to Toronto and I was working as an actor. I did a lot of um, American and Canadian TV shows and film, all small stuff, and I always heard 
agents and people in the industry and 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 a big manager in LA came and talked to me and he asked me can you speak American and I said excuse me and he said a standard American English can you speak the standard American English and then I was like I don't think I can but I, I think I am right now <laughs> I think I am right now but I was not Actually, because I used to have a huge, even, oh my god. You and think you're speaking American right now? I'm thinking I'm speaking, no, at that time, not right now, not right now. Right. Oh, god, no. yeah, I actually do, we can't, that's the thing about accents, we can't hear the accent. So for me, I'm speaking perfect, amazing English. <laughs> <laughs> or, or maybe I'm pulling the Sofia Vergara and faking my 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 my, oh my, my, God. my accent just for for the media, right? You never you never know. Um, oh yeah, wait a minute, wait. <laughs> you are not gonna walk away with that. No, <laughs> I will. You no. gotta keep the no. mystery. <laughs> <laughs> because we talked about that, my Ariel and I prior to the show. That was one of the things I was going to ask you. Was do you think a lot of the hype for the accents, especially for the women, you know, the Latin women, they get a little bit heavier on the red carpet? You know, tell me about that. You already started saying that. Is that true? You know what? I can relate to that. So listen, I you can hear I have an accent, yes. and that tells my story. It tells me where I come from, my history. It tells me, it tell, it tells about my roots, and um. It's for the show. We wanted to make this character that would be larger than life, big, and uh, almost a, a stereotype. We wanted to embrace the stereotype and 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 have fun with it. So accents are. Accents are in right now. People like accents. People like Sophia. I always go back to there because I think I'm the male version of her. <laughs> <laughs> I hope, but um, I so respect her because I think, you yes. know, like uh, jokes all aside, I think she takes her weakest point as an actress, which is having a thick accent, and she turns into her own advantage. She made marketing and she made her career out of looking at her and saying, I have a thick accent. Am I going to? put it in the closet, am I going to try to hide it, am I going to cry about it and, and wish I was someone else, no, I'm going to accept who I am, and that's the story of standardized, and that's how I got to standardize, which was a point in my life that I was tired to try to be someone I could never be, and I just decided to play with it and make fun of it and say, you know what? Let's make this guy huge, as I used to be, and I still am probably. <laughs> you make this guy huge with the full accent and accept and put him on a billboard instead of going to a speech therapist and saying, can you make me into someone else other than my own self? And that's what we did. I love it, and I love your amazing attitude that goes with it. You know, and, and so many people you can inspire. That's what I look at. So many people who who hide their accents, who want to be, you know, Americanized or who want to, you know, to be accepted for being, you know, like the kid next door. I love what you're doing with this. This is an amazing attitude shift. Thank you. Thank you. Um, um, mind you, for me, it's a little different because as a actor, I do want to have the choices of playing as many different characters as I may. And that's, and that's the, the, having the choice part of my job that if I can have the choice to play a French with a French accent, a Spanish or an American who grew up in a Latin American family, I want to have mm -hmm. the option because I'm an actor. But um, if you're not an actor, yes, and people understand you, why deny the accent? I think accents are amazing. They tell you they tell the world who you are, and it's amazing the uniqueness of an accent. As long as people understand you, if people do not understand you, then it's just a skill set. It's just mm -hmm. learning sounds mm -hmm. and how to put them into your body, and that's the simplest way. But what is in here is the biggest thing, which is the question of why 
you want to lose your accent? Why are you pursuing what you're pursuing? That's awesome. Um, Ariel mentioned um, we were talking about accents, and Ariel, you said you associate accents with what? Oh, oh. I was just sexiness. It's very sensual, um, yeah. you know. Yeah. Accent. It's it's very it's very sensual, and it makes you wonder like where they're from. You want to ask them, like if you're in a bar. And out of everyone <laughs> far, the guy that comes up with you to you with that one accent, you're like, hmm, where are you from? Like, it's great conversation. And great. it helps. Yeah. It helps if he's really cute too. Right. <laughs> I'll take yeah. the compliments. I'll take the compliment right now. Oh yeah. Well, speaking of uh, being really cute and everything, I you know I went searching on your page. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Oopsie. Oopsie. And, uh, is it a standardized that, Facebook page? Uh, there's, oh, that, there's, that selfie, there's that selfie going on. It, it, yeah, I, yeah, I sold out. You can go to the Facebook page. I decided to sell out because, uh, anyway, I'm not going to go that, down that road. But it's really true that a celebrity friend of mine told me, you know what, Lipe? You should take your shirt off. Take your shirt off. Do some work with that and get some viewers. And I'm like, you know what? Good job. It took me a long time to understand that part of the business. So let's do it. <laughs> so that's it. Simple as that. I'm just easy. But I want to, yeah. Ariel, I, I really want to go back to that accent sexness thing that you said. Yeah, but, of course you do. Yes, <laughs> definitely. No, of course. Because I'm going to tell you that whole, like, it's totally different that, for me. It's so funny how we how we bullshit with our minds because as you are we BS we bullshit can, can I is that okay to oh, oh, oh yeah sure so how many more times yeah. would you like to say yeah that? go am ahead I, knock yourself yeah off. can you tell me because I always think I'm I'm excused because I speak English as a second language so I can <laughs> excuse myself you get away with that I do I do always is that okay can I get away with it you did you too? got away with it with your audience oh, for your audience I'll, oh, yeah. I'll try to manage, but um, I wanted to say that as you are telling me that you find accents sexy, for the longest time in my life, I found that I actually looked dumb, and I looked like I couldn't speak properly, and I couldn't communicate with the fluency that my ego had in in its in in its mind my mind had an idea of how I should sound and act and I would not be that of course and I would think that I would be dumb or sound dumb or not intelligent so isn't that funny that you say for you it's actually sexy at the end of the day it's all BS right it's, it's <laughs> how you see the world that's why <laughs> That's say that. Uh, no, standardized. <laughs> I have to say that's a really cool thought. Is that you think that you come across as dumb, and I'm sure a lot of people that are listening to you are going, "Who's that dummy?" <laughs> and they do it with southern accents too, right? When you have a heavy southern accent, they pe yes. they think that people are stupid, right? Yep. Yep. And it's so interesting that you say in in when you're speaking. Portuguese, right? Spanish, yes. Portuguese. I speak Portuguese is first language. So your first language is Portuguese. So yeah. when you're speaking Portuguese, you're like, oh yeah, you know, like yeah. <laughs> you are on <laughs> and you know what's going on, and then you yeah. switch to English, and it's like you're mm -hmm. tripping over your own feet. You're all of a sudden this really yeah. clumsy guy. Yeah. But then a lot of people perceive that as sexy. You know, and there, there are go. people out there that perceive that as dumb. But it's, there, it's yeah. I've never thought of it. It's like me trying to speak French. That's why I don't. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. right. It, you're stumbling over your words. It makes you feel very self-conscious, right? Yeah. yeah. But I think it's, it's uh, I think the biggest secret is to embrace it and have fun with it. And that's what we did with the character. I really wanted to embrace it and make make that Lipe character so charismatic, naive, but so driven and passionate that you would almost feel for him with that mm -hmm. accent, that huge accent and his drive, knowing that it would be so hard for him to make it, but with his drive you can almost believe and trust that he will actually make it. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. When, when, you know, the zoo sex, I just was like <laughs> wanting to say, oh my gosh, please let me help him. You know, you want to just go through the screen and grab your mouse. Success, you know? <laughs> Success, you know? But it was great. I mean, I, I just think, and, and Lipe, this was all out of your imagination. I mean, this was strictly something that, a character that you just thought of and just, you oh, know. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not that smart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, it's mostly, I'm going to say that it's probably 90%. It's my own, um, my own experience as an actor throughout the years, um, together with the amazing world, words of Jamie Milligan, who is the writer. Um, okay. I'm not a writer. Um, I'm an actor by trade. So um, what I did was to get someone who would be amazing with the words and I gave to him an outline of all the crazy things I had <laughs> gone through my career of over 10 years, and we put a lot of comedy on it. So it's not out of my imagination. It's all probably all true stuff. That's even better. That's great. I I even love you even more now. So what's 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 next? I mean, are you gonna? I mean, you're on the you know internet now. Is there plans to? Well, we're going to see you live in living color in our living rooms. That would be amazing. Is that a pathway you're thinking of taking? Or? Oh, my God, you're so sweet for saying that. I don't know what is next. I'm going to tell you. We, uh, Veronica Herringer and I, my business partner, uh, we created Parabolica, which is our dear production company, and we have so much on the go. We have a huge list of documentaries and shorts and miniseries and horror and talk shows. We have so much on the go because we have so much energy. But for now, we really have to focus on, on Lipe on his road to Hollywood and see how the season one will unveil. We're already talking about season two, but let's see what's going to happen. Um, the, the second episode just was just released today. So we're in the very beginning of its journey, right? Mm -hmm. We still have the um, two months to, to do the whole season one. Um, so really have to concentrate on this. So how I found out about Standardized and got back in touch with you, that I actually <laughs> yeah, didn't know I didn't know. Yeah. with you before, but <laughs> is that Andrea is um, a translator, and she's translating yeah. some of your... Um, memes or whatever you would use for Facebook uh, into Portuguese, from English to Portuguese, and she's, she's having a lot of fun doing that. She's killing herself uh, laughing. And so what are, what are one or two of them that you can share with the audience right now? <laughs> <laughs> in in um, the Lipe accent, like not you, your, you want your American accent. accent no, right you, want, you want this Lipe? I, I, get, I get mixed up every day all the time because I don't know who the character is and I don't know where it begins, where the actor begins, but I think it's a good sign. I think that makes me a good actor or something. But um, <laughs> I just keep telling people to not be jealous because I'm so, so <laughs> successful right now. I've actually learned how to say success in the right, perfect way. I know, it sounds so dumb. Zusex, who says Zusex? Zusex. <laughs> Which is amazing, right? It's so good when it, you finally get it. Success. Don't be jealous of my success. It's done. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm walking around. You got it. Room. You don't have it. <laughs> uh, okay. Lipe, are you married? I am married. <laughs> I am married. I have a dog. I have a perfect house. I have a perfect life. I'm a famous actor. I'm so happy with my life. Bullshit. I'm happy with 50% of my life. The other 50 I'm working on with standardized. <laughs> so we are to believe in we are to believe in that you are married. You are you are to believe that I am married. And I okay. do have a dog in my life is 50% perfect. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Does your, I'll never lie. Does your does your spouse think your accent is sexy? Um, I don't know. I got to ask that. I actually always left that for the acting. I try to hide the accent because I think it makes me look dumb. It makes me sound dumb. So, um, 
I'm kidding. <laughs> well, you know what? When we go, yeah. when we go to bed, I always try to speak Lipe character because I think it makes me more sexy when I talk about zoo sex, right? <laughs> Who doesn't want to hear about zoo sex? I didn't. In bed. Nah. I have a feeling Sunday I am really going to be yeah. sitting somewhere on Sunday. You're going to be doing what on Sunday? I'm going to be sitting in my bishop's office. Thank you. Oh, boy. So. Just don't Google zoo sex, okay? Don't Google it. <laughs> don't Google it. I, did a, I, I made a mistake. I made a mistake, and I Google it. Don't do it. <laughs> but it's so funny. Let me, yeah, tell me. What would be your ideal job? What would be Lipe's ideal job to stumble in on for standardized character you're talking character you're you, character. you gotta specify please I, i'm talking, talking you gotta ask i'm talking character hello <laughs> standardized Lisa. okay 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 gotta make sure but that's more for me because it's <laughs> it's it's confusing for me what what's um uh, what is his dream that's job that's that's amazing let's let me think about that and, and put it on season two. Um, <laughs> this Lipia would totally be happy with a, you know what, I, I was going to say a guest star, he would be happy with it, but I think he has bigger, larger aspirations. So I think he would be happy with the lead on a new TV show. I think that's what he wants. He wants to be a lead in a TV show. <laughs> and... I, I think we'll have to watch it to see if he's going to get the lead or not. But I, yeah. I hope, I surely hope so. I surely hope so. Or maybe he doesn't get it and we have 10 seasons of a trial. That's right. <laughs> That's worth it too. That's great too. We'll see what happens. Kind of like the attitude shift we're in like season six. <laughs> I know. That, are you? Oh my God. Season six. I mean, that's a lot. Yeah. That that's is a lot. lot. No, that's nobody fun. else thinks we're funny but us. It's I okay. Know. Who cares? I think we're funny. I'm having fun. So, I know. Lipe, yeah. do you, I have to ask this. I asked this. Oh I'm sure I asked this to Andrea. <laughs> Yeah. And anybody else, I, I have a lot of uh, Latin-speaking friends, so they yeah. are Spanish-speaking friends or Portuguese-speaking friends. Yeah. So do you dream in your mother tongue or in American? <laughs> in American. In standard. I dream in standard American, perfect standard American. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I dream. <laughs> But then when I wake up, when I wake up, I look around and I'm like, oh my God, that was a nightmare, wasn't it? Let's go back to reality. Um, I've been, I left, I left Rio about 10 years ago. So I've gone through a, the experience of uh, dreaming in English and thinking that was amazing at that point. But right now, even though I have an accent. I'm thinking English right now. So I'm not thinking Portuguese. I'm not thinking Spanish. I'm not translating. It has, be it has become a mechanism that I can just speak and the words will come naturally. Of course, with a little, I can call it glitch here and there if you want to be funny about the accent. Right with the sounds and enunciations and the way I put the, the, the the phrases and the periods and the way that I talk, but it's coming in English. It's it's I'm thinking in English. So when I dream, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's it's. I think only a person who speaks two or three languages can can say that it's it's all kind of mixed. I think I speak Portuguese together with English, together with everything, and I might dream just as <laughs> hectic as I am in real life right now. That's how I dream. Just chaos. You have a lot of energy, and you can, I don't know what you guys feel, you can just feel your energy bouncing off, man, it's, it's amazing, You're, you are going to go far, and I'm gonna, oh, I know you probably, you so heard, much. I know you've heard that, you know, a lot and a lot, but coming from this show, and coming from a person who doesn't like to laugh very much, it has to be pretty funny for me to laugh, you have had me cracking up, man. Oh, that's cracking amazing, up. thank you so much, and do you know why that, that is such a, a a good compliment personally for me, Donna, because for years I tried to 
become that person who would be so robotic and still oh. to fit in a um, film screen or a television or a standard that um, I didn't get a lot of jobs and the jobs that I did were kind of shitty if I'm allowed to <laughs> use those words again. But um, and I think that the energy comes from knowing that um, that I can be, I can be big and chaotic and I can just ramble and be who I am and it's fine and that's what standard is about. It's taking this which is crazy and chaotic enough and, and, and put it in a show that is triple that and it has room for more. <laughs> God I know. Wish. God. <laughs> I just love that. Oh, wow. I just love that you're different. Being different is exactly what we say. You know, be yourself. I love that. I love that you're being yourself. I'll take it as a compliment. That that is being yourself. You know, they call us crazy. You know, they say we've been doing this for a long time. Are yeah. we ever going to do anything yeah. else? But you know what? This is this is it. This is fun. No, this yes, is, we are. Yeah. We have yeah. another yeah. show we, starting yeah. on Monday. Yeah, but we will. But, but you know what I mean? It's what we do. I, I get a kick out of doing this. I love what I do. I won't get people, awesome. to meet people like Lipe if I, you know, if I wasn't doing this. Oh, thank you so much. Thank and there's like bugs crawling down my face for. I would love straight. to have bugs on my face if I wasn't like this right now. <laughs> bugs are fun. Remind me of home. Uh, <laughs> and now it is time to put the virtual red Corvette in park, and we want to thank Lipe, <laughs> both Lipe's. <laughs> Lipe Vienna, the star of Standardized. And you can find that at standardizedseries.com. And it's every Wednesday? It is every Wednesday at uh, noon uh, Eastern Time. So Toronto Time, Eastern Time, noon, uh, 9 a.m., the other side of the, the continent or something, whatever you guys are. That and, would be the right coast. <laughs> yes, which is you guys, right? And um, every Wednesday, you already said standardizedseries.com. As a independent producer, guys, go share, like, do Absolutely. your social media thing. Go nuts. Have we will. A, yeah, yeah. As you <laughs> do, as you would do with your <laughs> your shit, you do with the social media, and you go and just throw it out there, crazy. And make okay. it happen for me. <laughs> and be happy for him, because that's our, our new yeah. thing for the year, is to be happy for everybody else. So <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. Um, no, we want people to be happy for you. We don't care what you think about everybody else. <laughs> um, I want to say one thing before we leave. To all those people that have caught me using the F-bomb, or they think it's the F-bomb because of my Canadian accent, and I'm actually saying, freaking... <laughs> I, Lipe, I, Lipe, I has the Lipe really, really said those words <laughs> several times. So leave me alone. <laughs> words are words. You got to deal with the words. They're just words. So do you have anything for have us, Ariel? Words have yeah. power, but hey, just make light of it. It's all BS. So have fun along the way. Get your shit together and have fun because that's what life is about. At that's the end what of I want to do, right? Hello, Ariel. Together, if you choose you together, I agree. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. It's not um, to find other freaks like ours, right? <laughs> That's absolutely like that. right. <laughs> and so, on behalf of the freaking four of us, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. If you don't go check out Lipe, you're going to really disappoint me. Please go check out Lipe. Go check out Standardized. You have a fan. I, I will be checking you out for oh, real, for real. I'll such be checking honor. You out. Thank you. And um, we're going to be back next week. I hope you come back and see us again soon. I will. If, just invite me. Just invite me. I will. Me. I, I don't want you to get too big where, you know, you, your head yeah. gets so big you forget about me. Don't forget about us, Lipe. I want my head to get so big that I can bring you in, bring everybody with me <laughs> on my big head so we can all have fun in this crazy party. All right. Well, we thank you so much. And on behalf of all the shifters that are watching us, keep shifting, keep shifting. And you know what? Enjoy your journey. Enjoy the lane that you're in and make the best of it. Mwah. Peace out. Thank I you, need ladies. a manicure. Thanks for having me. <laughs>